So, Maurice, thanks for taking uh, a few minutes to just share uh, your experience in our working together uh, in the Career Guide program. Um, first, why don't we just start off, uh, share a little bit about you, your background, uh, so people can, you know, relate to you. Sure. So, Maurice Rice, I'm a revenue operations leader at a at a high tech company right now. Uh, over the last 20 years, I've been in sales and marketing operations roles. I uh, got my MBA on top of that. So it's given me a really strong uh, foundation and I've had a, you know, had a good career up to this point. So Yeah, cool. What, what, what had us connect? What was your, the situation that had us uh, connect originally? Well, so, you know, I've actually had a long career with one company. So one company for over 20 years and uh, got impacted by a layoff and, and had to and and had to figure out what I wanted to be able to do next. I think the challenge I was running into is I was at the same place for 20 years. So I had a lot of skills and experience, but didn't really know how to quantify that to be able to say, how do I transfer that uh, to someone else? So I, I felt like I was at a crossroads where I had to decide, hey, do I go <laughs> back into the same company? Do I go look at another company? Um, or Or just do I want to do something totally different and just be able to calibrate to be able to say how transferable my skills and experience were uh, to somewhere else? And I think yeah. I think that's what led me to to talk to you. So yeah, and we're not mentioning the company probably for whatever reasons, but it's one of those companies that people actually dream of you know working with, right? Uh, one of the one of the biggies. Um, Tell me, so we connected because you got laid off. You were looking to see what the next steps were for you after 20 years with one company. What, uh, I think you had some other choices of organizations you were looking at. What had you picked to work with me? Sure. So when you when you start to look around, I was looking around and uh, saying, well, hey, do I just need to go find someone to be able to help me spruce up my resume and my LinkedIn profile? or do I go to more sophisticated and go to more like an executive outplacement uh, company where they would help me be able to groom me and get me ready to be able to go in and take a, a similar job to what I was doing? Or or do I want to uh, be a little bit more introspective and um, and think about, um, you know, think about who I am, where I'm at, where I'm where I'm trying to go next. And I, I think I decided I wanted to be able to take the opportunity to to just look a little bit deeper and 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 really be able to ground myself in uh, where I am today. What what am what am I have to offer, and what do I want to do next? And and so that's why I chose to work with you. So got it, got it. And glad you did. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> what what what's been your what was your experience in going through the program? What what did you get out of it? What did you see? How has it been for you? Well, I think it was definitely a, a journey. It was um, is probably digging deeper than I, than I, than I thought that it was going to be. And, but in, in good ways, because it was really being able to look across the the span of my career, my experiences, maybe even how I do the work that I do uh, and just being able to uh, be, a, be able to be reflective of the experience and um, kind of break it down and build it back up to be able to, to, be able to articulate who I am and what I'm doing. A lot of times it's easier for other people to be able to see who you are and what you're about than, than you can for yourself. And um, so I think combined with being in the same place for 20 years and then also just kind of seeing the world through my eyes versus what other people are seeing back, you kind of helped me be able to reflect, um, reflect, you know, who I was, you know, reflect on that. Did you like what you see? Any particular insights or new awarenesses you had about yourself after 20 years and this opportunity to reflect? Well, I don't, you know, it it didn't necessarily radically change where I thought it was at, but it was, it was a lot of it is trying, and even part of the reason why I went but got my MBA and did some other things across, across my life is just be able to revalidate, you know, validate what I thought I knew, be able to fill in the holes for where I had gaps and, and effectively be able to have build up a level of confidence about what do I have to offer if I'm going to go out and um, take on the next thing. And, and I think more than anything else is be able to build up and have that confidence. I saw so many people in uh, that, that were having challenges where they were starting to have the self doubt and, 
am I really worthy? Do I, wh what should I go do next? And I, I really felt like I needed to equip myself to feel like I was confident in who I was and what I had to offer. And, and you helped me do that. So got it. Well, and, and I guess my last question would be, and now we know that, you know, people come to me in different situations. You had a couple feelers out, even when we connected and uh, that evolved into something, didn't it? But what, I guess, where are you taking the experience of us working together forward? What 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 is it left you with? Where do you see this benefiting yourself as you as you move forward? Well, I think it, I think it's created a, a really strong foundation. It's also given me tools uh, to equip to to say, well, hey, how do I want to build my career tribe? How do I want to be able to think in terms of um, the having an active network, having that active engagement? So just thinking beyond the job of the moment. Um, I think that's really powerful. And then, um, you know, I know that you helped me with with one package that you have to be able to offer. But, you know, I, I think there's opportunity to be able to look to be able to see if there's more uh, coaching and things like that. Just sometimes just being able to have um, have someone be able to bend an ear uh, and not be in the heat of the moment is is really helpful. So, yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for taking a moment. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there, especially over this past year with all the tech stuff going on that uh, I've spent a lot of time with big companies. And, you know, uh, it, 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 it's a real wake up call, right? Whenever that ends and, you know, to realize who you are and the value you bring out of that. So appreciate our working together. And thanks for sharing your experience. Yeah, I appreciate it too, Daryl. And I, and I think just maybe the one thought to leave people with is that you know, the, when you have moments like this in your life, it could be a problem or it could be an opportunity. And I think people just need to embrace the opportunity. And frankly, you know, I've embraced the opportunity to be able to talk to you, to be able to see what's next and other people should do the same. So thanks. Thanks a lot.